So today is December 19th and I cannot believe that there's only six days left until Christmas. And I'm at my cousin's house right now because her birthday was yesterday. So I came over and we just hung out. Now we're gonna go to this trampoline place, which is gonna be pretty fun. It's all for her birthday. And I just got dressed. I'm wearing this sweater from Aeropostale and then some leggings and my Converse. And I was wearing my onesie, but I changed because we need to leave soon. So that was Emily, my cousin's friend, and she is really good. I'm not though. <laughs> shaking it like so we just got back from the trampoline place that we were at and the last thing I did that that thing that I had to fall that was so scary I was like trembling like no joke I was shaking so bad even after I fell like I went over to the table where everybody was sitting because we had to leave and I was still shaking like so bad I thought it was so scary oh my god but like I'm fine with like roller coasters and everything like that, except when I have to do it myself. And there was a guy up there with me. He was one of the workers. He like helped me, so that was very nice of him. He's normally not up there, but since I wouldn't go down, I was up there for like five ten minutes. He came up there and was like, "It's okay, like you know," and helped me like conquer my fear of falling, and I did it. And I'm very proud that we're not there now. <laughs> Cause that was the only way down, was to fall. So my second cousin videotaped the first half of the obstacle course. And then once I got to where you couldn't see me, she stopped. And then I went to the second level and then I didn't do any of the obstacles up there because I didn't know how to do them. You have to get down. So you're supposed to go down on a fireman's pole. And I was scared, like I wouldn't do it. So I had to go down like a net, which you're not supposed to go down. Like you're supposed to go down the little pole, but I went down the net. And then I couldn't get up the little ramp to get up to that high point 
where I had to fall off. And so the worker also helped me get up there. So my cousin and I just got finished making some cookies. And the cousin I made cookies with is Caitlin's mom. So Caitlin is my second cousin. So yeah, just wanted to explain. But And it was cool because we made them together. Not just like when I make cookies with my mom. Like she'll be like, okay, can you make these cookies? And I have to make them all by myself. But no, we actually made them when we just got them out of the oven. So my cousin and I just stopped at the mall to get a few presents for Christmas. So my cousin and I just got done wrapping all these presents in the back seat. I don't know if you can see them that well, but there's a lot. It took us three hours to wrap all these and it's because they're having Christmas early at their house because they're not going to be here for Christmas. So they're having it today. And so now we are at Little Caesars getting some pizzas for dinner and I'm spending the night. Okay, now hold on Ethan's shoulder. Kayla, do you now want to step onto the other. All right, wait, no, find the center. Find the center. Wait, slow down, slow down. Oh Alright, if you just spin, just find the center. To where you don't move at all. Now just slowly lean backwards or slowly lean forward. I'm not leaning forward. <laughs> so put your left foot forward or right. Oh, there, oh my gosh, she's, she's going down. <laughs> put your left foot forward and your right foot backwards. And push down. She's only been on it for 55 seconds. Go a little quicker. It takes like five minutes to get used to it. Go a little So this is my second cousin Ethan's hoverboard that I'm on right now. It feels weird. And he got it for Christmas because it had like an early Christmas, as you saw. Yeah, it just feels so weird. Don't fall over. I know. See you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.